Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video I want to show you a tip uh, for surface modeling when you want to achieve varying degrees of tangency along a shape. So you can see here what I'm really after with this um, surface model is to have some kind of a blend between uh, this cylindrical section and this little surface plane in front here. So I started off by creating a a surface here that has tangent continuity to my cylinder section and then just contact to my plane. Okay, And then I also created another surface that is tangent to both. Okay, so you can see the tangent surface here, it's shown transparent. It kind of bulges out in these different sections. And sometimes, um, you know, I would like to achieve maybe tangency on just the bottom here, but I might want more of a sharp just contact only blend up top and I've always wanted to be able to specify a way to vary tangency along a particular edge but we'll see if I edit um, this boundary surface I have tangency to face and here I have tangency to face but I don't really have the ability to vary it along this curve in any easy way now you can do it by creating multiple guide curves or by creating a loft with multiple uh, profiles that spread along here but another method um, I thought of is is pretty interesting and it's to use a swept surface to create that variable tangency. So we're going to use a swept surface with twist. And the way we're going to do that is um, we're, we'll hide our tangent surface here and let's say that I like the angle that the surface is coming in at um, with its just contact continuity here. So what I will do is I'll go to a view where I can create a sketch um, and I want to be creating a sketch I'm just going to sketch a little line and I want it to be more or less lined up with how I like my contact to be. Okay, so then I'll want to add a dimension between that line and my uh, just some vertical reference point here. And we could set it to collinear with our surface if I want, but I'm just going to set it to a nice uh, even 50 degrees there. Now you can see that we've created a line that is more or less lined up with the contact angle of our surface and we want to pay attention to that 50 degree number there because now what we're going to do is I'll hide that surface leave our sketch here hide that surface that we're really using just for reference and I want to create a swept surface using this line so I'm going to go to my surfacing tools and select swept surface and that will be my profile my path will be the edge of my plane here okay so that's a regular swept surface then we want to go ahead and turn on twist so we're going to twist a long path and we want that twist angle to be equal to the angle of our line, so the 50 degrees. And we just want to reverse the direction. So now you can see what's happening. We've created a swept surface that started off at a 70 degree angle and then it ends up tangent to our plane. Okay, so what we'll be able to do is click OK to generate that surface. Now I can hide my underlying surface here just so I don't accidentally select that edge and now I can create a, my boundary surface between these two. So I can apply my tangent continuity to my cylindrical section and also my tangent continuity to that new uh, section I created there. I'll just flip my connectors here. Right click and flip connectors and apply tangency to face there and you'll see that I get that nice sharp angle coming down to where I drew that straight line and then I blend in tangent to my shape on the bottom here. So I'll go ahead and click OK to accept that. And now we could hide or delete our surface sweep for our construction geometry, and we'll bring back that front plane. And we can see that basically we've achieved um, what we were after of having the same look as our contact surface up top here, but the same look as our tangent surface uh, on the bottom. And we can use the surface curvature combs in SOLIDWORKS 2015 to visualize that if we want. You can right click and turn on my surface curvature combs. And even if I just use them just to see the UV lines here, we can kind of see how we're getting the tangency on the bottom and more or less just a contact condition up top here. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.